What's up, people? We're back. It's another episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mizba's mic's not on. Should we start over? <laughs> this is the tall version of Mizba joining you today. Yeah. How you doing, people? We're back. It's episode 45 of Tough Times. Come I know there's been you. a hiatus, but we're back with more episodes. From the couch. Yeah, we're in the, um, the mini studio we have. It's very tiny in here. Honestly, I feel right at home. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's funny how how well you fit in that chair. I love that you put blankets in it. It made it really cozy. It was very thoughtful. Uh, yeah, I was covering up the Eagles print. Uh, well, well, there's Eagles print on this. Yeah, uh, you put a Washington uh, blanket over it. Pretty disrespectful. I mean, you know, it was nothing. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's nothing personal. That's okay. I'm not. A, I'm just. I love getting on Ryan about the Washington team. It's you also get used to calling you, him you Washington. You getting on me about it? Yeah. You get getting on me? <laughs> Dude, don't I look like I'm seven feet tall? This is amazing. And my knees do look good. I know. Yeah, I was saying that for <laughs> the show. I was like, look at this man's knees. I was like, good thing he has no blemishes, no uh, MRSA or anything on there. Staph infections going on. Dude, do you remember when we almost got MRSA from, like, wrestling? Uh, that was a thing when I we were in school. I, you mean almost got it? We've <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thrown that around. <laughs> It's like, yo, man, remember, you remember, remember got we it? almost got AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about it in high school, remember? <laughs> what a time. <laughs> Made it out alive. It was like the time you almost got cheese on your cheesesteak. Yeah, oh, sh- that's, uh, that's never going to happen. Speaking of cheesesteak spots, Jim's got shot up, huh? J- uh, not exactly Jim's, but across the street. Uh, dude, you made it seem like it was Jim's that got shot up. Bro, it was that intersection where we park. <clears throat> like, where we parked to go get Jim's, that's the area that got pretty shot up. Ooh, that's good. Oh, dude, my skin's so dry. Do you see that? We need some lotion. Yeah, <laughs> ripped it up right there. I got some gold bond over I there. scratched it. I thought you use it, but it's very expensive. A pump. Gold bond? Yeah, it's premium lotion. Is it? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is it? What do you use that's more premium than gold bond? Luberderm. Dude, that's like the bottom barrel of lotions. Dude, Luberderm is dermatologist. I don't even think that stuff absorbs in your skin. <laughs> you put that on your skin, <laughs> it just pushes around. Dude, it's number one dermatologist recommended. Your hands like a snowplow, just pushes, <laughs> <laughs> just pushes the lotion to the side, just beads across the skin. I hate chapsticks that are like that. It's like it's Rain-X like, for your skin. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a thick layer on your lips. Yeah, just. You know what? I lotion was dermatologist recommended too. It's the one I have in my bathroom. What, Goldman? No, it's the one to the right. It's like CeraVe or something. I it's very that. oily feeling. You're like, oh, this is like, I don't like how this feels. Yeah, that's how cocoa butter is. You ever have cocoa butter? Uh, no. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> smell great, but, you know. I think it smells all right. Yeah, it's it's okay. It depends. You get the Vaseline kind, it's a good brand. You know, so <laughs> Mixes lotion with. Some would say things about your culture doesn't smell good too, buddy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Out here bashing cultures. <laughs> Dude, my dad the other day was like talking up Mexican food. He was like, you know, the Mexican culture, it's very close to us. We are very Dude, close I to Dude, I love the Mexican food places near us. I just started eating this El Pastor quesadillas. El Pastor? It's like pork, pineapple, and like jal- jalapenos. <laughs> Jalapeno. yeah, no jalapenos. Yeah, that does not sound like something I'd get. But mango tree, you guys got you got mango tree around here. Mango tree. You ever go there? <laughs> I think it's like right over there. Yeah, pad thai. Pad thai. Yeah, you never had that. What is pad thai? It's like noodles, like Chinese. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've or ever not, had that. I, I shouldn't say that. That was. That I've been was dying to idea. eat that halal guy down the street. What's that guy's deal? Wait, here? Yeah, there's a guy right down the street. It's like halal something. New. I don't know. Look, new. No, I didn't see that sign before. People tell me it's been there for years, but I'm I'm very curious. Well, you got the uh, biryani king here. Yeah, I can't have that without Ryan. You can, <laughs> you can. I'm yeah. surprised uh, you're I've not made more that joke Indian on the show food. Before. Yeah. I, I'm into Indian food. It's just like it's a little risky. You know, in the end, I always end up at some sort of American joint. <laughs> <laughs> That is very true. <laughs> you, you. Every time Ryan comes over, <laughs> like, oh, dude, what should we? Oh, get? yeah. They always suggest <laughs> these Mediterranean places, and they act like I'm like so. He's uncultured. like, oh, I'll get whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They I act know. like I'm uncultured or something. They're, <laughs> they're like, so many want to eat like uh, these faux, uh, this faux place. It's got like the best vegan, and then like, they recommend some vegan stuff, and then I'm like, I'm like, ah, dude. We always just end up going with the cheesesteak. I know it's sad. I'm like, when in Rome, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> out in Philly. It's a typical. It up. It's great now. It, it works out. Was um, I with you when we ordered from Speedy's? Speedy's is where in Philly? Yeah. No. Or no. maybe. Uh, what uh, What did it taste like? Was it good? 
Now, I for some reason, I got a notification today on my Google reviews that I left a review there. Oh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. It's hit 5,000 views. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, tons of people have seen it or right. something. And they were just like, and I reread my review. I was like, wow, well, I don't even remember leaving this. <laughs> 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 yeah. And it was like, Speedy's place should be called Slowies or something like that because this place is the opposite of fast. Did like, you change your review? No. Uh, I I, gonna, I that would have been terrible. I should have corrected it and made it been like, place is good. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a that's a real move right there. Are you a Yelper? Are you you review on Yelp? I yelp pretty actively. <laughs> I knew you would yelp actively. That's why I brought it There's up. There's a podcast out there that evaluates my Yelps. What? Yeah, my old roommates. They used to do that. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this. Mm-hmm. You are on Shane uh, Shane's podcast. What? Yeah. Do you remember the time where he gave you? Uh, he bought you a shot. You found that. Yeah, not even me, bro. Somebody I was with, and we were talking about it, and I was like, "Yeah, my buddy." Like we were with Shane. Like I was telling him the story. That's so funny because he's like, somebody a, told me I should make that a bit. Like you should absolutely. Cause yeah, because he blew now. up enough that I can make it a bit now. Which the is guy cool. I was talking to, his favorite podcast is Shane's podcast. So I was like, "Yeah, you're not gonna believe it, dude." He, he told my buddy he was gonna bomb. Blah 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 blah. He bought <laughs> a shot, and he was like, "Dude, I think I heard that." Like, and he remembered the episode where Shane talked about that situation. That's so funny. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is cool. I mean, you got to go find it. It's Eventually, like down the there, road, I'd like to, like, I don't know, if I bump into Shane at some mic somewhere at some bro. festival, that'd be so cool to be like, yo, hey, Shane, you remember me, motherfucker? That's a great story. I'd be story. like, yo, man, I, I would definitely walk up to him and be like, yeah, yeah, you know, something like that. No, but, like, that's one of those situations, like, it, it will it will. It was be a cool staple in his memory. He's like this kid in a suit. And yeah. then I watched him bomb for five minutes or something. That's definitely right. what he said, you know? No, but, like, when you see him at some point in person and you bring that up, like, that's a great thing to, like, call back where you're like, oh, you're that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> buy him a shot. And then it's, like, and it's even crazier when, like, you're crushing it now. You're like, oh, my God, you got good. Yeah. Dude. yeah. What are you saying? I'm not crushing it now. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of shows coming up, man. Uh, you yeah, heard the yeah. last episode. Dude, I plugged, like, three. How many did you plug? Uh, uh, yeah, three. Uh, the silence. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be at Ryan's. That's I'm count that as one. <laughs> Last of my time shows. you got booked was my show, huh? <laughs> actually, that, no, I did one after yours. Actually, I don't oh, think yeah? I got to talk about it. Oh yeah, yeah, you didn't bring that up. That was the, how'd that go? Yeah, I, I shot you a text, and then I thought you got killed in a car accident immediately <laughs> <laughs> after because you stopped responding. Dude, <laughs> that was a good one, but they didn't have the mic damn on. Xfinity. They didn't have the mic on. Like the, the mic, mic was what? off because they were recording the whole thing, so the the mic sound was going into some recorder, and you had to like yell a little bit long like more they had all like four cameras there it was freaking crazy but what, show, like, what channel is that on i don't know it's, IET? Uh, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's <laughs> like an international uh yeah it's like an asian i was thing. thinking that yeah uh yellow punk i bumped into Alyssa at a show after a yoder show oh dude speaking of that oh my god i almost forgot I'm, i host every wednesday now for a little bit i told somebody about that recently, over yeah. at tuned up I think I uh, and now I'm hosting the uh, the open mic after the show on Saturday as well. On at the same place. Yeah. Where is that? It's, uh, Royceford Tuned Up Brewery. Oh, is that the place where I saw? Yeah, you showed me a pretty good burger there. there. Really? Yeah. From the looks of it, it did it, it. It's one of those surprising places where you're like, oh, okay. The food is actually like really good there. Yeah. I mean, those are kind of the best. Shockingly choice. good for the um, where it is. Well, it's is it one of those like when you're doing comedy, you can see the window behind you, right? Like there's like cars going back. Where is it? Have I passed it before? It's like right in the middle of Royersford. You go over the train tracks there. That Yoda runs past, that as well. Past right? Joel's where Joel's used to be. Yeah. Yeah, Yoda runs it, but like he really lets me run it sometimes. It's a lot of fun. I bet. He gives me a lot of opportunity over there. I like that. That's great. Yeah. Um, wow, dude. I feel like since I've been sitting in this chair, like, like I'm starting to spread it. Like I'm feeling the seats like go out. Do you feel that? What? Is that just meant my ass? Were you spreading the yeah, seat? Yeah, like the chair. I'm feeling the chair like start to push apart. I don't know. No, no, no. man. You break it, you buy it, son. <laughs> Twenty dollar <laughs> chair. Rule. No, it's twenty dollars. That's it. Yeah. Whoa, that's it. What? I mean, I don't know. Oh, nice Mister Moneybags but... over here, huh? I mean, actually, twenty dollars. I he's like, I shit twenty dollars. <laughs> I'd not no. say that. I mean, no. now that I'm looking at it, I'm. It's not that good of a chair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it looked nicer when you put. The they are for on. sale on my website. Oh, you have a website. 
Yeah, no. No. You yeah. made it sound pretty official. I mean, I have a couple websites, yeah, eBay, you know. Dude, I had the worst eBay experience. Let's hear it. I got a watch. Cause you bought a watch on eBay? Yeah. Did that? No. No, no. You got that one. one. Yeah. But I got, like, so basically what happened was I searched, uh, the, you know the thing with Seikos, right? Mm -hmm. They don't need batteries. It's like wow. movement. It's based you on say movement. go. <laughs> <laughs> it says based on movement, uh, right? Yeah. And uh, the problem is every time, like, you it's don't not wear just it. Seikos. They have other watches that are like that. Yeah, it's yeah. It's called a movement watch. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Se Seikos are one of them that like my dad likes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he he gave me this one, and then I like Googled it. I that was one like, looks really nice. This one's like a. It looks like your Casio one. It right? almost looks like a Paget. A what? An Audemars. That sounds like a nice ass watch. Yeah, it's very expensive. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I want like. Uh, see, the thing is about nice watches, man. Oh, you man I wish I was wearing a watch this episode. Don't look at my wrist. Uh, <laughs> you feel you feel naked. Yeah. Feel the naked. thing about watches, you can't. So right, I have this stack of money. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. This I I love. We glossed over this. It looks like it's caving in. That's how thick it is. Yeah, dude. That's why I got it for free. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I almost knocked over the oh, whole I'm bottle. Sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless you. COVID. <laughs> Got it from you, huh? <laughs> nah, yeah, dude. I'm a veteran. <laughs> bring that shit over you, man. You bring that over my house? No, I tested. I, I'm negative. Oh, you tested yourself before you came? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you liar. You liar. I mean, it's been well over 10 days. I'm definitely negative at this point. I would hope so. Yeah, I am. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I, I We had to before we So No, nah, I'm kidding. I day. have it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your taste back yet, by the way? Of course. How long did it take? It took you a while, right? It took a while. I just gave up on trying to keep track of it. I didn't keep track of it. I just like went with it. I was like, ah, this is life now. <laughs> How about smell? Smell was gone too, I think, right? Yeah, but that wasn't a problem. I liked that smell was gone. Really? Yeah, it was kind of nice. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You can put up with a lot, I guess. Yeah. Like, for some reason, man, this one bar I do comedy at just smells so bad there. You can't out the name, but I'm of trying to Of course not. I'll tell you later, but yeah. it's bad. It's tough. I remember them Lysol. People are going to narrow in, but I've been to a couple. It was one I only went to one time, so think about that. You know, it's part of it, it. You can't really fix that in bars because it's just part of the vibe. Like, they stand by that, you know? It's like part of the culture. You're like not going to Yeah, clean I'm like, up. dude, get a bottle of Lysol in here. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a lot. Um, Wait, my eBay thing. So I Googled yeah, yeah, the Seiko. Yeah. I Googled the Seiko 5, right? And there was mm -hmm. a nice, nice they're nice. They're two hundred bucks or whatever. Wow. Which honestly, I'm finding like dropping two hundred dollars on eBay on a watch. No, no, I did. It. That's new. If you buy it, no. like, a new watch, so used, it was like twenty, thirty, Ooh. fifty, right? And so I'm like, okay, I get, I got one that was twenty, right? Mm. Then I realize this is coming from India, and there's like a million other listings She's that are this. local pickup. You know how your dad go get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. But like then. <laughs> I got into this pickle where I was like, all right, I'm going to cancel it. So I request them to cancel. I was like, hey, sorry, I bought it. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the ideal guy I hate, man. I, I just I had a guy do this to me like two, like literally a day ago. Bought these cleats on Friday and he was like, no response, no response. I'm like, hey, man, do you want these? I'm going to relist them. And then he just never answered. Then eventually he, was, he came back like three weeks later and was like, <laughs> where is it? Yo, man, these are. Um, a size 11, I need a size 12.5. <laughs> I was just <laughs> like, worst. oh, sick. Well, see, he didn't even ship it out yet, so I didn't feel as bad. It was like kind of one of those. Like, he like didn't pay. Yeah. Did oh, you he pay? He, you paid already? Yeah. <laughs> How, what do you mean? I didn't know there was an option to not pay. Yeah, there's an option to like not pay immediately. It didn't give me that. Mm. Or, but I don't bid. I don't know how to do that. I don't like bid. You hit buy it now, and then it just doesn't make you pay for it. It's just like, oh, he won the auction. Pay for it in like a little bit. Oh, interesting. But anyways, I returned it, or I canceled it because I was like, yo, this is definitely fake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it How did you tell it was fake? Just off the pictures? It, well, it was quartz. These are supposed to be movement. -based. Quartz watches are like battery operated. Oh, uh, yeah. And then it said in the description, it was like, it gave the history behind it. It was like Seiko came to India back in 1950s <laughs> and they had these excess watches that they weren't able to get through standards. And so we took them and we replicate them. They're very close to the original. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you're like, it was the best version of saying like, this is fake, but it was, it was a beautiful story. Do it. And then I was like, okay, so I like, I was still unclear. I'm like, is it fake? But I still canceled it. And then I got like, there was another one. This one was actually, it looked like, legit it had serial numbers and all that stuff that you need where you're like okay this is legit so that one was like 50 
So I, I was like, all right, that was a little much, but I was like, all right, I'll do it. I got it. And um, this dude's like, oh yeah, it'll be here by like the 20th, right? I, like nine days, 10 days later, I'm like checking the UPS tracking number. Still no information. It's like, it, it, like your label's been created or something, right? So now I'm just like, I'm being annoying. I'm like, hey man, like where It's is coming it? from where? Well, that's the thing now. I'm like, I don't know where it's coming from. I thought it was coming from the U.S., but oh, it's dude, not. They do that sometimes. I used to do that with a couple of buyers. Like you wait, you ship through DHL <laughs> it'd be internationally. Like in California. Yeah. But like, it'd be like a California address, but it's really coming from like China. Bro, that's what I think is happening. Because he was like, it's probably like they're sending it through DHL from India, and then once it gets here, they're gonna put. Which, by the way, DHL. Big red flag. You see that coming in. You're like, what is this? My cousin just told me it's very, they handle yourself very badly. Oh, it's DHL. You're like, that's not UPS or FedEx. No, no. It's it's uh, it's international. <laughs> but you know how you said FedEx is not good here, right? You don't like FedEx. FedEx is god awful. Yeah. But it's the cheapest right now, so I, I roll with them. Oh, are they? Well, you know what I found out? In India, FedEx is the top like service out of all of them. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean... I guess it's different everywhere. And for yeah. them, it's like international shipping and shit. But you know how much it costs to send something to India if you want it there in like a day? In a day? In you a day. Shit there to a, in a day? In a, you can, yeah, now you can. It's kind of weird. But guess how much? <laughs> guess how much you got to pay? Do they have a teleporter? Close. Guess how much? What, what price it's is gonna it? It's got to be like 1000 Oh, God. It's 500 Really? Yeah. But, dude, five that's a lot of money. That doesn't seem too bad, though, if you're, like, urgently trying to get something to India. Sure, but what would you absolutely need to get that urgently? Dude, if you have a shit ton of money and you're just like, dude, I want to get something over there right now. True, but, like, most stuff you could buy. Even if you think about, like, buying something here that was cheaper to, like, ship back, it wouldn't make sense mathematically because it's $500 is so much for shipping. Mm. Like, you'd have to be getting, like, saving a lot of money on something for it to be worth it. Say you went to do a world tour of comedy okay, in India, well. but you left your phone at home. And you didn't realize it until you got on the plane, and you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Oh, my God, what are you going to fly back to go get all your material on your phone? Oh. So you got to have the cloud. So yeah, but what are you, you going to do? Pull that up on what? I mean, I think at that point. <clears throat> you pay the $500, and you get it shipped one day. Is that what you do? You'd buy a new phone. It'd be mm. cheaper to buy a new iPhone at that point. What is it's like thirteen hundred to get a new phone. You get your shit shipped in one day for five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, but then <laughs> Oh, you know. I proposed a good situation here, huh? Sure, but then you're like, hey, who I mean, yeah, it's the one off, but like at least they offer it, you know? It's like all right. It is, it's there. It, is it is nice they offer it. Did you see uh Amazon? What if you're getting married out in India? And you forgot something? And your ring. Your ring is over in the U.S. You're like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All right. I'm sure that may have happened before, actually. That yeah. probably has happened. But, okay, forget forget the... Um, it's just crazy that they were like, man, a lot of people need this. <laughs> yeah, enough So that we need to come up with a service for it. <laughs> right, like, who really... There's a few companies like, like that, that where I'm like, really? Like, this is where we're at? We needed this? I mean, it's pretty crazy, yeah. India's a kooky country now. They're really like it's like America. <laughs> they're they're a, k- <laughs> a kooky country. <laughs> cookie country. <laughs> a cookie country. Are you trying to slip cookies in there? You sounded like the guy from the cookie cr- commercial. Dude, my dad's trying to get all of us to go over there. Oh like, yeah. He's like, oh, let's go in November Dude, for like go, two weeks. I'll go. You will go. Yeah. Dude, I is Alyssa going? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, but we're not gonna go. We're not like, hey, yeah, we can go tomorrow. Like, you gotta, Squad. you gotta plan for India. You, you know what I mean? Trapped over there, dude. Yeah, you. They hold me for hostage. Think I'm like important. Yeah, or also like, you. The scary thing is, you spend a lot of your time sick. Yeah, that I'll be walking down the street and a fucking Bengal tiger gets me. Oh yeah, that can happen. <laughs> yeah, that's or scary. Or a cow. <laughs> There's cows. What do you mean a street? cow can get me? You Bro, gonna, yes. You, you said it like that was more terrifying than a Bengal tiger. Well, no, it's not, <laughs> not more terrifying. It's but like the cow like bumps into you. He's like, I know what you've been drinking. <laughs> when I say a cow bumps into you, I actually mean it will stick the head in the rickshaw, and it like I remember it almost tipping the rickshaw over because it's on three wheels, not four. Their cars, like their transportation, yeah. is three wheels. So I don't know. It can get crazy over there, <laughs> dude. My cousin from India, he's uh like he the one who moved you. Wait, he's from India? I thought he was from Alaska. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he's the guy. He he came. Your cousin is from India. <laughs> I shocked. We're all ba 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 bombshell. So he's. Miz was got a cousin from India. Just breaking news. <laughs> Dude, he. I was about to hook him up with you because you have the e bike. Yeah. He's like he's in the market for like a bike. He's like. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's selling mine. Do you have bikes in stock? Every now and then. Wait, but you're trying to get rid of your e-bike? I would buy another one. They just came out with the Bugatti scooter. Wait, like Bugatti, Bugatti? Bugatti brand. No, no Yeah, way. it's at Costco. For how much? $895. I mean, Bugatti, I, I love, feel like... I love how you just gave like the, the like... I mean, <laughs> I did spend $700 on these dress shoes when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Type sigh. Like, you were like, dude, those shoes are really nice, man. <laughs> You're like that's how that's how you just appreciated the brand of Bugatti right there. People saw that, they captured it, they felt you there. You're I like you you're like I mean that. you're like I mean Bugatti like <laughs> I could find a way to like put seven hundred dollars <laughs> aside and then save like another two, <laughs> you know, if I paint some houses that weekend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like Miz was doing everything now. By the way, <laughs> this man came over here. He was like, yeah, man, I just did some side work. I was taking photos <laughs> of this Indian family in the park. It was amazing. <laughs> they were having a magical moment, and this man approached me of Muhammad and he said could you take some pictures of me and my family we've just graduated school that is actually what happened he was with his father he was like he's like are you a photographer and I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you were like of course I am bro of course I am <laughs> he was like he's like can you take a picture of us uh how much how much do we pay you and I was like I was so scrambled I was like uh, 120 an hour and he was like oh okay I don't have my wallet on me I'm like that's a <laughs> oh my <for> free. <laughs> god dude this guy he's a sicko and then love dude, this but then after he's a psycho <laughs> he and he like he started talking to me in uh Urdu and everything he was like Wait, oh pause what Urdu yeah that's the what language that? the Indian language in oh, I, I, oh okay you didn't know that um, no what do you think it was called Indian H- Hindi <laughs> <laughs> yeah Hindi it does count too it's a version of that um but anyways, I don't know you guys got like 30 different languages over more than that. Yeah, like this guy was Gujarati, which is a totally You've different... Lost, uh, guy from Game of Thrones, huh? <laughs> yeah, Doth- yeah. Dothraki, huh? <laughs> Dothraki oh, yeah, ancestors? Right. Dude, I feel like you you in India would be something I would actually like pay. I pay like a <laughs> streaming service to watch you just travel around in <laughs> India, like talk to random people, go into the slums, come Discovery, out. we're waiting. Send the check. I'll slide over to India and just film for a month. Dude, I would Hey, you don't got to pay me a lot either. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit over what my work is currently paying me, and we'll get it done. Just cover our travel costs, and I think. Yeah. Oh, now you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go alone? Uh, you I don't know. It was like, Ryan finds India. You know, that's how we would call the show. <laughs> you need it to be genuine be so like you actually get Bourdain, lost. You know? Yeah. In 20 years of that, you know? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing if like your your career thing became like a discovery show that like was on. I would love that. I would enjoy it. I would enjoy that too. Yeah. I know like You're gonna dial back some of the things I'm saying currently to make that happen in yeah, the future. I'm sure. I don't know. I, I think I've know. been pretty clean. You don't think they'll have a discovery after dark at some point? I don't know. I think they might have a discovery of my set in New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing happened bad in New York. <laughs> we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a historic moment. She's watching this from home. She's like, "That was me." <laughs> Do you still have that set on your yeah, phone? Yeah, of course. Well, I don't know, man. You gotta. You I have to video of that too. I'm not gonna delete it. That was good. Well, I know. I'm just saying you had to delete a lot to keep space on your phone. I know. That's on the other phone. Oh. When right. I run out of memory on my phone, I just buy a new phone now. That's the new method. That's what Ryan does. <laughs> that's Ryan. the new method. That I've heard. I heard a comic did that, and I was like, "Oh, that's beautiful. Good idea." I heard a comic do that with. I don't laptops. know which one did that. Oh, yeah. Anthony Jeselnik. Every okay. time he writes a special, he gives away his laptop and does it again, like gets a new gives one. Gives away. Or not gives away, whatever. I don't keeps know. Keeps it, I thought. I'm sure he keeps it. I don't know. Yeah. It just it cool, sounds cooler when you're like, I give it away. Yeah. I was going to say, I could. I bet one of the local comedians I know picked up that laptop because they use a lot of his material. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Wait. I run into people stealing material a lot now. Really? Dude, yeah. How how do you. Do I'm you just able to call it out more. It's maybe because I'm watching a little bit more comedy nowadays. Yeah. Taking taking the classes, they call it. <laughs> <laughs> Heard Chappelle I say that. that once. I was like, oh, that's cool. Wait, how did he use that term? He's like, when another comedian goes to another comedian's class, it's like when he's there to watch his show. Oh, that's what he's talking, talking yeah. about. That girl Daphne. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we saw that story live. What a transition, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, how crazy we saw that story live before it was even yeah. A, like he dude, how crazy was it? We saw Chappelle on Friday like two weeks ago. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Isn't it? I love that you sat yeah. through like the whole show though for the first show. Were you disappointed when he didn't come? I do. I was miserable because <laughs> like I had bought like the two drink minimum too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you got it. Uh, that's they where they in. get you. Like the show was the cheapest part of that night. Sure, yeah. <laughs> the drink minimum that was not. Yeah, their drinks are like fifteen dollars a drink. Dude, they really got you. It was like sixteen dollars a drink, and yeah. then it was six dollars for a shot. Dude, I got the shot right. Because it was, counts as your second item, so you're paying like twenty two bucks. Then you got a tip, like five bucks. Yeah. So like twenty seven bucks are in there. Right. But um, anyway, the shot, bottom shelf whiskey. It was absolute ungodly, the worst tasting whiskey I've ever had. I can't believe they served that. This whiskey to me. right here. This is, this is yeah. good. This is like not top shelf, but it's not. It's not bad. I asked the guy. I said, "Yo, man, you." you after I smelled it. I took a shot, and I was like, "Oh God!" I poured it into my twisted tea, drank that, and then I was like. Dude, I gotta have something nice for the second show, you know? Because like I'm not gonna drink bullshit when yeah. I'm watching Chappelle. And then I asked the guy, I said, Yeah, I said, I'll do the the shot and the twisted tea. And he was like, Okay. And he left and I said, No, no, no. I said, I want something better than that last whiskey. And he was like, I was just like I was like, What do you have? He's like, We have everything. I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you give you I that said, you guys one? Have everything and you're giving this out? I said, <laughs> what, what the hell's going on back there? Yeah, he he wants to make you feel it. No, dude. There was no feeling. It never got past my tongue. I was like, ugh. Dude, that's like Jameson. Jameson's disgusting. I hate that. Jameson, man. We had that. I bought you the, that once. A lot of people embrace it. Yeah. That was the one and only time I had Jameson. Like, I hated it. Yeah, I got too nervous at the bar. Where I was like, they're like, oh, what do you want? I'm like, what do you have? Or no, uh, we ordered, you wanted whiskey, and they didn't have whiskey, so it rattled me. I was like, oh, shit. I wasn't prepared to what yeah. to say. And so then I was like, okay, give me what you have. And she was like, Jameson. And then I didn't want to seem like I couldn't drink jameson so i did. yeah but it really does like this the hair stand up every time jameson I drink that. hurts man yeah that that's a beat up on your chest you're like uh uh-huh. mm. i don't know though some people uh like my i had a russian roommate who drank a whole bottle of dude jameson. that russian roommate is the wildest guy i've ever you've seen a picture of him right yeah yeah i still have that on my phone. yeah that whole um i found him on craigslist <coughs> yeah it's crazy yeah, you, that's one you shouldn't have uh, been rushing into. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one day uh, his mom was over, like, randomly. And good thing you weren't Ukraine, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he. his mom was like, she started, she didn't speak English, obviously. She spoke Russian. And I was like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, you know, I tried to make some small talk or whatever. Yeah, and she said some Russian shit to him while looking at you. <laughs> yeah. And then they both laughed, and you were just like, what, what was that? There's definitely some of that. She did do some That's like prayer. you when I'm over your house, you know, and you, you and your parents are talking, and I'm just like, what is, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what are you guys saying? Huh? They're definitely what, talking what about me. What are you guys me. saying about me? Yeah. His mom, like, did a prayer on me. She, like, did some stuff on my uh, head, yeah. like, touched my temple, <coughs> and she gave me a kiss on my forehead. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was like, oh, this is pre COVID. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that we both knew. Uh, we're like, that's good. Yeah, it's not appropriate after COVID. Yeah, right. Too I, every time I see a video, I was like, I was like I said, I was watching Dane Cook's uh, tour gasm the other day, and I was thinking to myself like, um, like they were hugging the one tour guide after they went on like a Segway tour, and I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> oh yeah, I was like they would have killed this lady, <laughs> dude. You know what's weird is like when it's becoming a normal reference, like in shows now or it's like oh the pandemic was have, crazy yeah, wasn't it dude i've seen a few shows like that. that it's like uh i mean it's gonna happen at some point it does with every like that kind of happens with, like there's so many 9-11 movies now you know or um, what do you mean there's so many 9-11 movies let's name two worth that's one worth yeah what's the what's the premise it's of that? the one where they figure out how to compensate everybody who died mm. from 9-11 I've never even heard of that. It's, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's I, the, <laughs> the funding on marketing was not that high in that one. I guess it uh, went to the the families instead, which is good. But well, Olympus has fallen, but that's not nine eleven. It's like <coughs> still destruction, mass destruction. You know, <laughs> Olympus has fallen. That's the one you went with. <laughs> I know you okay. didn't go with like the movie called World Trade Center. There's one called that or United ninety three. I don't know either of those. You don't know either of those? <laughs> no. Those are like the two main ones. What a Fahrenheit 9-11. That's one, right? 
I don't know. Yeah, so, that is that's yeah. a movie. I just don't remember exactly. Nine, yeah, Fahrenheit nine eleven. I think that is one. Yeah, I actually <laughs> it may not be about nine eleven though. Now that I'm thinking. I mean, about the World it. Trade Center one. Yeah, that was about nine eleven. Is it famous? I don't remember. Yeah, dude, Nicholas Cage is in it. He plays like one of the firefighters. <laughs> I love Nicholas Cage in movies. Do you? <laughs> no, yeah, I he, love them. What? Nick <laughs> Nick Cage Nicholas? movies. Yeah, <laughs> I love a Nick Cage movie. You were so serious about that. Yeah, you like Nick Cage? I mean, yeah, he's okay. He's <laughs> what just, do you mean he's okay? He's, he's phenomenal. Just, Have you not seen National Treasure? National Treasures is the one where I phenomenal. Think he's phenomenal. They're yeah. all good. The yeah. two of them. It's, they should have made a third one. They're making a series without Nick Cage. I was like, why are you making this? <laughs> Nobody uh, wants to watch this. That's like when they came out with the Lincoln Lawyer. You watch that? Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna watch that. It, the There's original no McConaughey. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What are you doing? It's very difficult. You're make a to show adjust. without McConaughey. It's tough. You're putting that guy in a tough position. He doesn't sound. It's like making like a like Sopranos him. movie without Tony Soprano. Yeah, I gotta get making back a Godfather on. without Al Pacino and uh, Marlon Brando. I don't know. I'm making bad references now. Dude, Al Pacino's gotten fat. I mean, yeah, he's older. He's older. He can be, but it's kind of. It's like, probably for a role or something. Yeah, well, he can be that now. No, he says probably from a role. He oh, was eating rolls. Role. Well, in a no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, movie role. Well, Irishman. movie role. It's the Irishman, right? <laughs> That's pretty good. You watch that? Yeah, it was like four hours long. I don't believe you watched the whole thing. I didn't pay attention. Of course I mean, not. It was on like kind of in the background. <laughs> My it favorite scene long. in that whole movie is the part where they see each other for like the first time in a little bit. It's like De Niro and Pacino, and they have that little argument in the place, and then they tackle each other, and they're, like, wrestling around there. He's like, I'll do that when you apologize for being late. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just got an argument. It was funny. Oh, that's great. Dude, it, I'm surprised you haven't watched Severance yet. You need to get on I'm Severance. watching the outfit right now, and then I'm finishing, uh, I'm waiting for Stranger Things to burn through. Oh, you didn't finish that yet? What do you mean? There's two episodes coming out in July. Oh, yeah. Did you Wait, finish it's it? only two episodes? Yeah, there's two more. It's not seven more? Dos mas. How do you know it's a two more? Because it says it right on there. Duh. Well, actually, no. That's a bummer. It doesn't say it on there. I got to come clean. So you, you know the the show's main actor, Millie Bobby Brown? She plays Eleven. Yes. I have a friend who's close friends with her. Okay. And she texted him and said, there's only two more episodes. <laughs> I love that. Wait, how old are these friends? Isn't she like 11? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. She's 18 now. Now? <laughs> you weren't following the Twitter? No. What? Can't wait till Millie's 18. <laughs> is it, Was that a thing? Yeah, how creepy is that, huh? That's really creepy. Yeah. It happens to a lot of minors. Yeah, I bet. Today. And it's sickening to see. We need to do something about it. And that's why Ms. Ben and I are here with another episode of Tough Times. Tough times, everybody. To bring you guys that information and awareness. Yeah. Hopper's my favorite character. I love Hopper. I love man. Hopper. Dude, that whole prison scene, spoiler, if you haven't seen it, you're late to the party because it's like the new episodes are coming out in like a few days. But I like that they're doing that, that they <coughs> didn't wait six months to release it again. What do you again. mean you like that they're doing that? I don't like that they're doing this at all. Of course. It's, but it's all we... burn off of what the Sopranos did when they f originally came out. They split it into two parts. Then Ozark did the two-part thing. Then Netflix was like, yo, we're losing money. How are we going to get streamers back from consecutive months? That's yeah. right. we got to split the season up so they can't binge it all. But, bro, all the stations are doing that now. Apple TV, they all do like every... I every wish they would... Week, they release the something. best way to do it, two episodes a week. You do one on like Monday and one on like Thursday. You know what was good actually? This Apple TV figured this out. They did the prehistoric thing. Like on I heard, dinosaurs. prehistoric was great. It's pretty good. Yeah. Coworker been talking my ear off about it. But listen to how they released it. Every night, Monday through Friday, they released a new episode. So it was like every dude. That's night. how they did it uh, back when you were a kid. Yeah. You watching Dragon Ball Z in yep. the afternoon. It was totally pump five episodes a week. You'd be like. Oh my god! I get back with three. This yeah. bus driver better step on it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> and it was almost there was no DVR back then, kids. You no. know, you had to you'd be on the horn. Not even a phone. You didn't even have no. a phone. You'd call nobody. That you'd tell your mom before you went to school that day. You'd be like, "Mom, I need you to press record on the VCR exactly yeah. at three o'clock. Please don't mess this up." And my you, mom's like, I have a whole day ahead of me, Ryan. Like, I'm going to be working. I don't think so. You and know? sometimes you tape over some and important stuff. Too. Yeah. I, always, I had two or three tapes that I would, like, consecutively circulate. WWE, we had a Dude, couple of those. I had a method with WWE. I would watch it live, and then I would, like, stop it when it would go to a commercial, and then start it when it was, like, coming back from commercials. Did like you have a remote? 
No, I had to. You had to go physically yeah, to it. Yeah, physically do the VCR, and you're pressing the buttons while you're sitting like an inch away. You know. Jeez, that's a commitment. Of course, and then you just sit there, and then you no commercials for an episode. Yeah, <laughs> you were doing the. You were doing basically what uh, the premium services do now. Yeah, you were filtering everything out. Yeah, it's taking the commercials away. Um. Honestly, though, they all ha- they're all doing that now where it's like every week they release it. But the everyday one is nice because after day three or four, like by Wednesday, you're like, I can't keep up with this. So it's almost too much. And it's nice to have a couple in the tank. You're like, all right, mm. I, might- I like to be able to sit down and maybe binge through a couple. See, I'm at a thing now. I'm at a point now where it's like when I'm working, I like to watch stuff in the background. Yeah, me too. I love that. So like, it's just like I need shows out or else I get pretty bored at work fast you know what i realize i like shows more than movies that's me too i don't think i like i don't get the same much. excitement out of uh it's like right short. now i'm stuck in lost again i'm back on lost i'm trying to finish it i've been Wait. watching the show dude i've been watching a great show billions you ever see it yeah of course i've seen billions <laughs> dude are you kidding i've been telling you about this freaking literally for how many episodes it's yeah no i'm just kidding air. i've never seen billions i just knew it would get you jazzed up if uh, i mentioned wow. it wow wow yeah, that, that was, was a planted uh, little uh what a uh-huh. letdown yeah, I know. Look how look how mad. Like you went from ah, what a roller coaster of emotions you just went through. You were like, dude, you've been watching billions. <laughs> there, if you like Lost though, you, you should... went all Z's on me. You were I like, did. dude. <laughs> if you like Lost though, you know the owner, uh, the people who f- like wrote Lost, they wrote The Leftovers, which is a brilliant <laughs> show. It is so good. It's like kind of this. I mean, I'm watching From right now. From the makers of Lost. You ever see From? No. Oh, dude, you gotta watch From. Is it new? Oh, dude, it's a beautiful show. That one, one season's out, amazing. New? Oh, dude, it's How amazing. New? I'll show you a trailer after this. Really? Oh, it's, dude, really good. You know Michael from Lost? Michael? The black dude with the kid Walt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the main actor in the show. Oh. Phenomenal actor. Yeah, he's good. He's so good. Well, whatever happened to he's Walt like a, in that show? W- dude, I heard that they had to phase him out of the show because he was growing too fast. You know, I was just thinking about this. They when literally I was said he was getting too big, and like, like for the last few shots they used him, they had to get it from like certain angles or in like dark shots because like he was just like had grown so much. He had like a massive growth spurt. Dude, that's what I'm thinking. With Very like, unfortunate for him. Yeah, I was thinking about. I that. hope he still has work today. I mean, I'm sure he's got acting gigs now. I'm if sure. anything, I would hope. But like, <clears throat> he's a pretty thinking, good actor. I was thinking about that actor. with Ozark. Ozark and Stranger Things, like. You no, know, what no, Jonah? What is it? Jonah and uh, Jonah girl. got pretty old at a point, right? They they all got like they yeah they grew. I mean, but it's kind of like you're committing to an actor when you choose them mm-hmm. for a role. Like, hey, I'm gonna ride this out Just for like the, the next stranger kid things, kids. Right? Like you're committing to that whole cast and hoping everybody actually stays and they love it. Funny and you mention all that. that. You hear about the Flash, the sh- the superhero? Yeah. No, DC what? had a movie coming out with this dude, Ezra Miller. Uh huh. And he, like, they shot the movie The Flash, right? But then COVID came out, so they pushed this movie back a few times. This man went absolutely nuts. He was, like, at some Hawaii resort and was, like, freaking out, throwing chairs and stuff, calling people, like, slurs and whatnot. Wait, who was this guy, Ezra? He was, like, the actor who played The Flash. That's so random. Yeah, I don't know exactly what he was doing, but you can look it up. It's public is it knowledge. Is is uh, DC Flash DC Comics? DC is it's Batman. not Disney. Yeah, it's like WB. Oh, but right. d- they just released a statement saying he would never, they would never cast him again as the Flash. So it's like, oh. I mean, it's hard to get cast in anything. I well, it's hard to that. like erase somebody completely from a movie that you've already shot. Like now, that movie is just like. A couple million dollars just sitting in the tank that they can't even pump out because they're like, oh, our image. Dude, it, imagine like, you know, when we lose footage, when we're doing these, like there's like a, a hundred people involved in a movie where it's like if something gets lost or somebody messes something oh, yeah. up, it's like, oh, yeah, everybody feels there's like probably it. some people that were contractually stipulated in that movie where they would be paid based on the amount of, uh, you know, nice residual. They were like, rel- they took that contract based on a residual payment of like the end income of that movie. Right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, what are you yeah. going to do? Tough time. I mean, hey, money comes and goes in a flash. That's tough times. Make it disappear in the edit. Or make it, make it, make us. Yeah, like we'll move that. Dissolve out. Yeah. Tough times. Tough times.